Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to prepare a Windows Server 2008 R2 server for Exchange 2010. Some of the things you must do to prepare your 2008 server for Exchange 2010 are to execute some PowerShell commandlets and install a couple of hotfixes. I'm going to start by clicking on the Start button, going to All Programs, going to Accessories, and then selecting Windows PowerShell. The Windows PowerShell console opens and the first thing I'm going to do is type import module space server manager. Essentially what this is doing is loading the server manager from a PowerShell console so I can execute a series of commands inside of PowerShell. This is much more efficient. From here I'm going to run a script I've already written so I'm going to double click on Exchange Setups and go to the Add Windows script and inside of the script we're adding several features including the .NET Framework, the Remote Server Administration Toolkit for Active Directory, Directory Services, a web server, uh, basic authentication for web, Windows authentication for web, etc. These are a series of PowerShell commandlets that are going to prepare your Exchange 2010 server and at the end of it it will restart the server. So I'm going to copy these PowerShell commands and then I'll go back into PowerShell and I'm going to paste those commands in there and hit the enter key. And this is installing all of the features we've defined in the script. At the end of it, it is going to reboot and then we'll continue on. To speed things up in the video, I'm going to fast forward from here. Awesome, we're rebooted, so let's go ahead and log in to our virtual machine. The next thing we need to do when we get logged in is to configure a service that is currently disabled to start in an automatic fashion. There's two ways we can do that. We can either go into Server Manager, Services, and then scroll down to the service we'd like to configure which is net.tcp port sharing actually this is started but it's manual we can double click it and change this to automatic or we can execute this as a PowerShell commandlet also so if we click on start go to programs accessories PowerShell and launch PowerShell from here we can type in set dash service net tcp port sharing startup type automatic press the enter key we've now configured that service to start automatically if we go back into server manager services and take a look at the service you'll see that it is now set to automatic so PowerShell is a very powerful tool for configuring a 2008 server so I've showed you how to check a service execute a PowerShell commandlet which actually configures it to automatic and then we went back into the GUI and saw that that work had completed successfully now on with our demonstration to prepare our server for Exchange 2010. We also need to apply a couple of hotfixes. I've downloaded the Microsoft Filter Pack 2010, so I'm going to go ahead and install that. This is a filter pack that allows applications such as Exchange 2010 to search and index certain files within the computer or its mail database. We also need to add the KB983440 hotfix 
So we'll double click on that. And we need to add the hotfix 977020. So we'll double click on that. So we've ran some PowerShell commandlets and have added some hotfixes all in preparation to install Exchange 2010. This concludes my video on how to prepare your 2008 R2 server for Exchange 2010. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thank you very much for watching.